Hi there, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the Windows 10 black screen of death issue. Hope you find this guide useful. If you do, please help me out by clicking the subscribe button. Now, when you get this issue, you'll get the sign on screen here. And after you've entered your password and clicked enter or the arrow here to log on, it will then uh, get stuck on a black screen. And that is obviously known as the black screen of death. So I'm going to show you how to fix this problem. So I get this issue with this Chris login. So you need to sign on with another user. So I've got a, a JSON user here. So I'm just going to log on with this user. Okay, we're on the desktop now. So if you open up File Explorer here, and if you click on this PC, then go to your C drive, go to users, and you've got Chris here. So if you just rename that folder to, I'm going to rename it to old2, if you get prompted here, click on continue. Uh, by doing this you might lose uh, some files so for example if you had files on your desktop you can just come in there and get them uh, maybe you had some downloads uh, your internet favorites you can just copy and paste them into the new uh, folder that's going to be created later uh, yeah contacts as well so now you've done that there's one more thing we need to do so if you click on the start menu type in R E G E D I T and then here if you just click on run command again if you get prompted here click yes okay now that program is open if you uh, just scroll up to the top and if you go to H key local machine uh, then software, Microsoft, Windows NT, current version, and then if you go to profile list, uh, I'm going to list this location in the description of the video so you can, you can grab it from there as well. Now as you can see here we've got uh, five folders we need to look at the ones with the longer numbers so you can see down the bottom here we've got um, okay so we can see there's two folders here if you just click on the first one and we can see here this is the folder for the JSON login so that's not what we want we want the Chris login so if we click on the second folder we can see here it's for the Chris login so all you need to do is just right click on the folder and click on delete and click yes so what this is going to do it's going to reset the profile so when you log on with the chris profile next time it's going to create a brand new profile for it so now if we log out of the json account and if we log back in with the chris accounts Password's going to be the same as before. Okay, there we go. We can see it's setting up a new profile now. And it should boot to the desktop quite quickly. There we go. We can see we're at the desktop again. If you wanted to copy some files back, like if you had files on your desktop, all you need to do is if you come into this PC, C drive users now we renamed the old um, profile to old2 so all you need to do is if you had uh, a desktop icon or let's go into the favorites so if we just copy this and if you go back to the users folder this is the folder that it's using now so if you just go into there go favorites and you can just paste it again and obviously repeat the process for if you've got contacts desktops documents downloads and anything in there but okay thanks for watching the video if you've got any questions please post them below and i'll uh, 
help you out uh, but thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video